Let's write a C program using macros. So here is our problem statement. Write macro definitions with arguments for calculation of area and perimeter of a triangle, a square and a circle. Store these macro definitions in a file called areaperi.h. Include this file in your program and call the macro definitions for calculating area and perimeter for different squares, triangles and circles. So we need to define macros with arguments to calculate area and perimeter of a triangle, square and a circle. We need to write these macro definitions in a separate file called areaperi.h and include this areaperi.h in our source file and make use of these definitions to calculate area and perimeter of triangle, square, circle for various user inputs. So let's look at some of the formulas. So this is a formula to calculate semi-perimeter and this is called Heron's formula to calculate area of a triangle. So these two things you can see in red is to calculate area and perimeter of a square. And the last thing, um, these two things are to calculate area and circumference or perimeter of a circle. So please write these formulas down. It will, we, we will be using the same formulas in our program. Okay. So let's get started. I'll create an empty file and save it inside current active project. I'll name it areaperi.h. Since it, uh, it's an header file, we are giving it a file extension of .h. Now let's start by defining our macros. So ash define, first thing, this is the syntax, ash define followed by macro template name. I'll call it try underscore peri triangles perimeter. It will take three parameters, three sides of the triangle. I'll call it A, B and C. So perimeter of the triangle is um, sum of lengths of all the sides that is A plus B plus C. Simple. This is the formula to calculate perimeter of a triangle. Now let's calculate uh, area of a triangle. I'll call it try underscore area. Let me pass three lengths of three sides of the triangle as well. So Heron's formula is SQRT of, since I'm using SQRT, let me also include standard library file that is math.h. It's a header file, by the way. Now, we could, we could include this macro template here and then divide it by two to get semi-perimeter, okay? Or else we could even define another macro to calculate semi-perimeter. I'll call it try underscore sp, sp for semi-perimeter. It will also take three parameters, that is lengths of three sides of the triangle. So semi-perimeter is a plus b plus c divided by two. So now let me make use of this macro try underscore sp to calculate area of triangle. So we need to explicitly mention this multiplication symbol here. So instead let me make it sp itself semi-perimeter. I, I want to save some space here. Okay. So multiplied by semi-perimeter minus B into semi-perimeter minus C. So I'm just following the formula present here. That's it, okay? So this is how we calculate area of a triangle using Heron's formula. Assuming that user knows the all the three sides, lengths of all the three sides of a triangle. So now let me define uh, square perimeter of a square so its formula is four into side all sides of a square is equal right lengths of all three all four sides of a square are equal so perimeter is four into side so area of a square is s into s multiplication of two sides now let us calculate perimeter of a circle it's also called as circumference of a circle and its formula is r is radius of the circle 
to calculate perimeter or circumference of circle the formula is 2 pi r since we have included math dot h i'll use the constant present inside math dot h for pi which is m underscore pi now let us calculate area of a circle so the formula is pi r square so we will be using m underscore pi into r into r so it's pi r square so that's it that's all we need now let us include this area peri dot h header file in our source program so if we include the file name inside double quotes it will it will try to search for this file name inside the current working directory where this source file is present so i'll take a couple of floating point variables abc maybe for three sides of the triangle side for square radius for circle now let me give some options to select for the user so area of triangle now perimeter of triangle now the third one let me paste these two things three and four so area of square perimeter of square now the last two things area of circle and perimeter of circle so perimeter of circle so these are the six options from which user has to select and perform the uh, needed operation so slash n enter your choice chhoic let me store that inside a inside address of integer variable choice let me declare that first int of choice so as you probably might have already guessed we will write switch case statement here so case one so how many cases we will have six cases because we have six options to choose from so let me paste this six times three four five and six let me even have a default case here so inside default i'll ask i'll print out please enter valid choice if user enters something other than one two three four five and six this code inside default block gets executed three four five and six okay so i'll ask the user to enter three sides of a triangle enter three sides of a triangle all these are floating point variables so i'll be taking format specifiers percentage f and store it inside the address of floating point variables a b and c now i could use this and assign it to a variable and then print the return value and all but let me use this inside a printf statement directly so i'll print area of triangle is so the returned value will be of type float so we need only two decimal points after the uh, two digits after the decimal point so i'll include 0.2f now we shall pass the values that is variables a b and c now break out of this case that's it that's it right let us check if there are any bugs oops so we have a silly error here sp that is semi perimeter take, takes three arguments and in our definition for calculating area of triangle we are not passing anything to it so let's pass three sides of the triangle which is present here abc so let me even bring this down by introducing macro continuation symbol here which is backslash so let me bring this down to this one down as well and pass arguments to it that's it 
I think everything else is working fine. Let me compile and run the program. We have written logic only to calculate area of a triangle now. So we have to select number one. So I'll give five, six and nine. So area of triangle is 14.14, which is correct. I had checked that using my calculator. So next up, we need to make use of try underscore peri to calculate perimeter of a triangle. So I'll ask the user to enter three sides of a triangle once again. So why not just copy these lines of code present here in first case. Let me do that. Okay, instead of area, I'll, I'll print perimeter. So instead of try underscore area, I'll copy try underscore peri. It also takes three arguments, A, B, C, which we are already passing. So that's it. So now the third case, what's that? Area of square. So I'll ask the user to enter length of side of square. So all four sides of a square are equal. So it doesn't matter which side's length the user enters. So enter length of side of a square and then store it inside address of floating point variable side. So we have, uh, it only takes one argument, by the way, I just checked it if I had written it correctly. So let me print out the result onto the console window that is area of square is percentage 0.2F sqr underscore area and pass the side to it that's it break out of this case i think i forgot to have semicolon here now fourth one perimeter of square let me copy these lines of code quickly grab it and paste it here all those things are same except this instead of area we will be calculating perimeter of square and here we have definition for it paste it that's it now the fifth one area of circle so let me ask the user to enter radius of the circle using that we will be calculating perimeter or circumference and area of the circle so let me store that inside the address of floating point variable radius. Now, area of circle is, yeah, we are calculating area itself. So area of circle is percentage 0.2 F slash N. Now call this C underscore area if we even type C underscore, it will start showing all the definitions there. These are intelligent editors. So break out of this loop. Now just uh, calculate the perimeter or circumference of the circle. So ask the user to enter the radius of circle. And scan F. We could have copied it, but let's just type it in real fast so let me copy this line circumference of circle perimeter and circumference of circle are same here so let me grab the macro name here and don't forget to have break uh, at the end of each case i think that's it let's let's compile and check if we have any error here we don't have any error. Let me select two enter three sides of triangle. So perimeter of triangle is. So let, let us do one thing. Let us write do while loop here. For repeated execution of this, these codes based on user input. Hope you have already seen this in our previous video tutorial. So I'll take a, I'll initialize, define that variable repeat. 
let me copy cut this entire code and paste it inside do block let me align it a bit okay at the end i'll ask user if he or she wants to continue so with couple of new line characters to separate these things slash n not pipe symbol do you want to continue so let's hint the answer for the user that is zero means exit one means continue once again okay i'll store that inside address of integer variable repeat so based on this entry input by the user this code repeats or the control exits out of this while loop okay so that's it let me compile and run this program once again i'll select three now area of square i'll give five so area of square is 25 come again so perimeter of square i'll give five once again so perimeter of square is 20 so let me check area of circle now five i'll give two as radius so area of circle is 12.57 let me repeat once again the sixth option perimeter of circle now i'll give five let us calculate circumference of circle circumference of circle is 31.42 let me enter zero and exit out of this while do while loop so that's it that's how we make use of macros macro definitions and mm, this header file custom header file to calculate the area and perimeter of triangles square and a circle so thanks for watching please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram twitter linkedin facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you